the morning of uh, March 22nd, Sunday, and just a few thoughts this morning for you. Um, we're going to use the 23rd Psalm, so if you want to turn to that and uh, just have that to follow along. The 23rd Psalm is a very remarkable passage. It tells us that Jesus is our good shepherd, and Jesus himself says that in John 10.10, 10, that he is our good shepherd. It says that he came to give us a life and give it abundant to us and full and rich and you find the richness of that life in this passage many people use this psalm as kind of a uh, a way to quiet their mind in the evening um, before they go to sleep many people read it in the evening many people have it memorized so they'll say it and it kind of calms their heart and their soul from the busyness of the day and lets them rest um, Many people use this as a, a source of strength, as it says that we walk through the valley of the shadow of death and uh, gives comfort and strength to us. Uh, many people use this as an uh, idea of a blessing, that, it, uh, that it, his blessings overflow in our lives. Many people see the eternal um, part of this, where it says that we will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. There are so many little parts to this. There are so much, there's so much nutrients packed into this. It's like um, finding a, a something and you look on the back label of the, of the product, of the food product, and it has a list and, and all the things that are in there, you're amazed. You go, wow, this is really something good. This is really something good. And, and also at the same time, it's very sweet. Um, in Psalm 19, it talks, about that it talks about all the law and, and the testimonies and the things of God are so good and and pure, and then at the end of that passage in verse 10, 1910 says, they are more to be desired than, than gold, even more than much fine gold, because they're sweeter also than the honey and the drippings of the honeycomb. So this passage is both full and rich, like Jesus promises his relationship with us to be, and um, it also is very sweet to our heart and to our soul. It's very uh, sweet to our taste. So there, there's, just, there's just so much here. And so what I want to do is just kind of, in the few minutes that we have for this recording, I just want to take it apart a bit, and then I want to um, come back and just show you exactly all that is in there. Um, so I'm just going to kind of slowly go through it. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He fills us up. We don't have anything else. We don't have any wants, right? He's all that we want. Because we know that his nourishment is the kind that we can't find anywhere else. And then it says he lie, makes us lie down in green pastures. He leads us beside still waters. And he restores our soul. He calms us. And then he leads us to a place where only he dwells. Where the waters are still. Where he stilled the waters of the storm, so to speak. And we can rest there. He knows us. And he leads us. And he restores our soul. Isn't that a remarkable thing that he does? He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. That means he directs us on the ways we should go if we follow his word and follow his Holy Spirit. And then it says, even though I walk to the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. That means he holds us up. He lifts us out of the pit. He, 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 he lifts us and he carries us. He not only lifts us up, he doesn't just lift us up, but he carries us through. And he delivers us. By his rod and his staff, he guides us and he comforts us. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Remarkable. This Lord of heaven welcomes us as his friend. And then he brings us to a table that's prepared where he elevates us up higher than any other guest. We are the honored guests. And not only that, but he, besides honoring us, he bestows everything on us so that it's overflowing. His blessing overflows on us. It covers us. It anoy he anoints us as a king. He anoints us as something very special. And it, and it overflows as in his blessings. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. 
the, he, he saturates us with goodness and mercy. We don't even deserve it. We don't deserve any part of it, yet he, he just fills us up and covers us with his blessing and his mercy. And then it's, he says that he welcomes us in eternity. So he not only welcomes us here as friends, but he welcomes us as heirs and children when we come into heaven with him. That's how much Jesus has given us as the good shepherd. You see, he's not just our savior, he's our shepherd. So now I want to just take this passage, I want to read the passage, and then I'm going to read the things that he does for us, and then I'm going to close in prayer. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For he is with me, his rod and his staff, they comfort me. He prepares a table before me in the presence of my enemies. He anoints my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Now I just want to go back and say what he does for us. He fills us. He cares for us. He calms us. He leads us. He knows us. He directs us. He holds us. He carries us. He delivers us. He guides us. He comforts us. He welcomes us. He elevates us. He anoints us. He blesses us. He bestows goodness and mercy upon us so that it overflows and he welcomes us into our eternal home as his children and as the heirs of Christ. Will you pray with me? Father, we come to this psalm and we realize how much you do for us by sending Jesus to die for us but not only become our Savior, but to be our shepherd and do all these things for us throughout all of our lives. We cannot say thank you enough for all that you do. We are blessed. We are overflowing with your goodness that has been poured out upon us. Thank you for all of that. And thank you for the promise that someday we will dwell with you forever. Thank you, Jesus. Amen.